I'm going to answer Venom Fang X's Sean's uh, new video. Okay, first he says Neander Neanderthal, Lucy, and Piltdown Man were hoaxes. Okay, um, I think it's funny that he said Lucy Man. I think he said Lucy Man once, and I think it's kind of funny. Um, so anyway, uh, yes, Piltdown Man was a hoax. I don't know when you guys are just gonna shut up about that. Sure, there are people who do shoddy work, and there are people who want to uh, pursue their own personal goals, but that doesn't mean everything in science is a hoax. Um, and Neanderthal and Neanderthals and Lucy aren't hoaxes. I don't know where he get that gets that from because that that isn't true. Uh, next, he says either they're fully human or fully ape. Okay, uh, Lucy is neither. She has um, both ape-like and human-like features. For example, she uh, most likely was able to m walk upright, but she had other ape-like features that made her both. Um, next, he says there are no such translational forms have been found. Um, I think I've done like two to three videos on this in this past week alone. And it's getting really annoying. There are transitional forms. Just look. Okay? I'm going to put those in the information box, and I I suspect, I, I expect Sean to watch those. And he said, oh, what's the uh, ancestor of birds? If uh, you can't find it, you don't know what it is. Okay, I'll show you what the ancestor of bird is, birds are. It's that thing. Archaeopteryx. Okay? Look at it. That is it. That is the ancestor of birds. Okay, let's just get that right up. Okay. Okay. Next, he says. Okay, he's talking about the extinction, or he's talking about the T Rex and the chicken link. He says a comet destroyed or selectively destroyed the dinosaurs, but not chickens. What? You, you're stupid or something. A descendant of T-Rex or a theropod dinosaur turned into... Actually, it wasn't T-Rex because T-Rex was afterwards, but um, a descendant of a theropod dinosaur made uh, Archaeoptyx, and then Arpteoryx, uh gave birth and then threw out these things and then gave birth... The descendant of chickens gave birth to chickens, Okay. It's not that chickens... I, I don't even know what his analogy is. It's just stupid. Okay, next, um... He says... At the time of the writing of The Origin of Species, Darwin admitted that it looked like fossils were... created, um... And he also gives us Stephen J. Gold. Um, quote... Mine. Um... Saying that there are no transitional fossils. and Okay, paleontology was hardly a science when Charles Darwin made his theory. Okay, he hardly knew what fossils were, and he was a biologist, not a paleontologist, because there were none back then. Um, and also, a lot has been found since that Stephen Jay Gould quote mine. Um, for example, Archaeopteryx and Tiktolek Rosi and all those good stuff. Okay, next he talks about uh, endogen endogenous uh, retroviruses. Okay, uh, it's not that we have, it's not that we just have the same ones, it's that the, they're on the same place on the chromosome, so that points to the fact that they gave it to us. Um, next he says, wait, did it just stop? No. Okay, next he says, are oh, he's talking about ostrich, ostrich R, uh, ERVs. Okay, no, it would not mean that we were descendants of ostriches, it just means that a common ancestor the common ancestor of ostriches and humans got that endo or the endogenous retrovirus and then gave it to us. Okay, next he says okay, next he does a horrible character assassination of uh rabbit ape. And he says that he wasn't doing it um out of bad will, but yeah, he definitely was. But I just like to say, uh, Sean, uh I can't wait to see your face uh when you meet Krishna in heaven. And um, I'm guessing it's going to look something like this. Just like that. Holy Just like that. Holy crap, there's a bipedal elephant in my face. What am I going to do? Oh my god. What? What? Okay, enough of that.
Ugh. Okay, there we go. Okay, um, next he says fossils are made by burying under a lot of pressure or something like that. It's not the pressure, it's the fact that there's no air and then there are, and there are minerals to replace the organic molecules. You could have something that's just under a fine silt and it's not an, under, under a lot of pressure and it's still going to be mineralized or permineralized uh, if the conditions are right with the minerals and stuff. And then he says uh, it, it, it has to be buried rapidly. Um, it doesn't have to be rapid. We have fossils which were like picked apart and then the bones were fossilized and they, they're hardly even recognizable and you have to uh, do a lot of work to get the actual animal out of the fossils. And <laughs> this is what I have on my notes. I'm going to see if you can actually read the red on there. No, no, you can't see it. But it says Dur Flood. Okay, no, no. Uh, the dinosaurs were not buried at once. Okay? That's just, th that's not what the, f that's not what the evidence points to. Um, they were most likely separate events for like, example, a Tyrannosaurus Rex falling into a stream bed and then getting buried, or something like that. And uh, there are no bunnies in Precambrian strata, so that right there disproves the flood hypothesis. I hate the flood hypothesis. Uh, okay. Um, next, uh, nothing new is added through natural selection. Yes, you're right. It's mutations. Uh, just selecting isn't going to add information, but mutations do. Um, for example, like. Uh, shift frame, uh, frame shift mutations and point mutations, deletions, that kind of stuff does add or take away uh, information. Not deletions, that doesn't, never mind that, just ignore that. Okay, um, uh, he talked about his orange and white cat and how his p the parents were most likely orange and white or white and orange. Well, I have a friend with red hair whose parents are blonde and brunette, and there was no milkman involved if you get my drift. You see, information can be added through mutations. Uh, and plus, uh, I, th I forget what, I learned about this in biology the other day, but there is a specific gene, or maybe two genes, uh, that uh, affect the shade of your hair. I, I, I might add something in that information box, or I might do another video on that, but it's, yeah, it's not subject exactly to your parents, although, yes, I have brown hair, my mom and dad have brown hair. Um, next he goes on the, s uh, wait, New. Oh yeah. Then he says again. New information cannot be come from simple, simple uh, selections. Yeah, you're right. It's mutations. Uh, next, he goes on the CD analogy and how we're losing information, de de evolution, and we're losing organs and stuff. But if we lose an or a bad organ, then it's good. For example, uh, we don't need the appendix, and it's actually bad because it's filled with toxins and it just blows up. So since we're losing that, it's good. Get get that, and um, and saying we're losing information. Some people have some people get six fingers, although their parents have five. It's a mutation, bud. Mutation, shin, 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 shin. Okay. Um, and then he says he uh, he goes on this thing to Satan. What the heck is that? That doesn't belong. I mean, okay. Okay. First of all, Satan didn't make up evolution. He, he has nothing to say. I mean, God, evolution doesn't say you're your own god. I mean, for example, uh, I know a few people who are theistic evolutionists. For example, KBane52, and I know some people on Christian discussion forums, CARM, who are theistic evolutionists. They believe in God. They believe God is higher power. I mean, just because you're an evolutionist doesn't mean you're a atheist. And uh, he says he used to think he was his own God. No, you didn't. If you thought you were your own God, then you were like, I don't know, a Satanist or something. It, I don't know what you were. Messed up, maybe? I don't know. Well, that's all I've got. I might do a back or new an, another video on the hair thing. But uh, whatever. I'll, I'll turn up the volume on this since I've noticed that a lot of my other videos have been really soft. But uh, peace.